we know that you're good people. Yeah? With 27 machine guns, six rifles, 14 handguns, six dozen hand grenades, and until recently, a great crop yield. But there is a natural cycle to a place like this. And yours is about to run out. So there's two ways this can go. Either you give us your stuff and live, or we wait for you all to die trying to make things work. Welcome to Knock Bro Nation. Welcome back, Fear the Walking Deaders. Hey guys, today we have a review <clears throat> of the second episode of Fear. Another Fear day the in Walking the, Dead. Another day in the diamond. Another day in the diamond. And this episode is exactly what this title is, and it is ninety. 6.7% all in the diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Probably about 98% mostly. Yeah, so, and and that much obviously is with our old uh, survivors. Yep. So, how, I mean, this is mostly going to be kind of an overall review of it, but how it begins is called Before. Yep. So, at the end of season, or episode one, um, we ran into our crew, which was well you know, well after the events, I believe, of the stadium that they're in. So we had to get a flashback of before. So we get back and it's basically the majority of it is Madison and crew are in this stadium and they have livestock. They have cows. They're starting to grow crops. Um, yep. They have about 40 people or so 47, in there. 47 people in there with, yep. you know, guns. And um, we kind of find out some interesting things that, you know, you know, Madison – and it's been like this before. Madison is very easy to allow people in. You know, she's very caring for people. And not that they would have known this later on about that girl, Charlie, but... And we'll get into that later. We, you know, we just... It, and even when they meet, you know, one of the new characters, they were just so very defenseless to just say, hey, just come right in. But, um, you know, the crew is just hanging about and... Uh, they want to go on a run because Madison is talking to this little girl, Charlie, and they just recently brought her in, and Madison is she, trying to get information from her. Charlie came to them. Um, Charlie had discovered the, the ballpark, their community, uh, because it is a community at this point. I mean, they have supplies. They have crops. They have people. Uh, they have a system. <clears throat> um, and Charlie had told Madison that she lost her parents. She doesn't know where her parents are. So Madison's whole goal now is to find her parents. Right. And we know Madison, even Strand and Alicia and them say this. She's not going to give up. She's not going to stop until right. she finds them. Yeah. So her, Strand, Alicia, and Luciana are heading out on a run uh, to go look for uh, her parents. And we get Nick, yep. who, you know, bids to stay farewell, behind. stays behind, which is interesting. Uh, we, in our predictions video, thought that, you know, from the description of the episode, it says Nick has to deal with some, uh, de not demons, but... Uh, uh, troubles that he's going through and, and it wasn't so much the drugs that he had done with Troy in the previous season no mm. it was his lack of being out in the real world uh, with the apocalypse in the with the walkers right so it seems like he has you know it seems like he has PTSD because you know we later on in the episode he's he decides to take a truck and go out and he's freaking out about it and we get these flashbacks of him on the dam right before he blows it up yeah. so it's either that experience blowing it up and then the aftermath of how madison found him which we and, don't know which we still haven't seen yet yeah. so the aftermath of what happened in between that time so he's very afraid of walkers again yeah you know because he was like that before in it's, like season you know, one but. It, it, he would rather stay in the community behind right. the locked doors than go out on a run with luciana <laughs> right exactly <laughs> who has returned back to him right uh um, we haven't we don't know which yet. we don't know we'll, about we'll, so we'll find out later we hope we hope so yeah there is a lot that we don't know again from the timeline of season two where the dam explodes and where they find the season stadium three. sorry season yeah. three <laughs> and where they find the stadium which right. we think is about a one to two year gap yeah roughly um and so as they're out they come to a town where um they believe uh charlie said that her parents were you know were at or their camp was at um and it's pretty dead yeah like even strand says yeah, they haven't found a single person, but they also haven't seen any dead. 
Yeah, which is very strange to them. Another um, strange thing is they find another flag with 457. Madison and um, Alicia come to this little like compound that has like oil, maybe oil drums or water towers in it. And it does have another flag of 457. Yeah. Um, we find out, we do find out later on what that means and we'll get to that. Um, but as Madison and Alicia are looking, they come around this area and it's completely burned. It's, you know, they find this truck. It's kind of burned, but they also find... Um, some food there that is looks fresh food fresh food that's recently there um, mm -hmm. and this is where we run into our next new character uh, Jenna Elfman who plays Naomi blonde lady who pulls a gun on Madison but all she wants to do is get the heck out of there she yeah. looks so afraid and yeah. um, she uh, what's interesting is that this is where I, I, I'm talking about that where Madison and Alicia are just so I mean they, they even surround Naomi. Like she, they surround Naomi. They have her at gunpoint. Um, she runs off. They follow her. Uh, Madison does. Madison does. They get to where she's on the top of this water tower, um, and Alicia puts her gun down. Mm -hmm. I mean, here's Naomi who has a gun, and Alicia puts her gun down, and they're pleading with Naomi, we're not going to hurt you. Um, we're good people. Um, that's the trust factor, yeah. which – you know, we don't know how much they've been through. But anyway, uh, Naomi straight falls through. And right before that, there's a little clue, which we find out later as to a little bit later. Uh, there were speakers right by that hole. Did you notice it? I did notice the speakers, yeah. Do you know, uh, that, do you know where that's from? Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> so we'll get into that. We'll but, get into that. But yeah, um, Naomi falls down and there's just a ton of walkers in there. You know, she's killing them, fending them off. Then Madison jumps down there to help her. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Strand and Alicia are trying to open the container, which they eventually do. And all the walkers, and they call, you know, pouring out, and they're all covered in oil, and they take care of them. And then it's a little downtime as, you know, Strand and Luciana are just like, they are kind of not mad at Madison. They're just like, what are we doing here? Like, why are we allowing her to come back with us? Just leave her, basically. Yeah. And Madison's like, look, no, you know, we're not, what was her line? No one's gone until they're gone. Until they're gone, yeah. Yeah. So, um, which is yeah, which kind of ties into Strand and his feelings towards Madison because Strand was rescued by Madison. We find out. Yeah. Uh, and, and in season three, he had betrayed the group. Yeah. Uh, for the dam, um, I believe, right, and the resources of the dam. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and instead of turning their back on strand madison saved him and brought him into the community so he's questioning why did madison do that exactly um and you know he turns to luciana and he's talking to luciana and luciana just says hey why don't you just ask her yeah just freaking ask her yeah because <laughs> he's just so confused by it um and so we get to uh uh so we kind of get back with like, you know, we do see Nick, you know, dealing with crops and he's, you know, talking with uh, Charlie. Some and of the crops are in bad condition. The bad shape. Yeah. And there's like, I don't know, weevils or something weevils. Under, underneath the ground that are Could destroying be a bat the weevil. Could be a bat weevil. <laughs> <laughs> that are destroying the roots and everything. Um, so we do get introduced to some interesting characters. So as we mentioned, Nick um, was trying to go out um, because they weren't back yet. He was going to go out and try to find them. And that's where he takes the truck he's freaking out he eventually crashes the truck and then uh they pull up in the they truck and they're like right when nick what are you doing he's what like are you doing oh nick? i was just you know going out for a stroll <laughs> <laughs> so they get in so that night um that night they're we, retrieving the truck they're retrieving the truck yeah. and we get introduced to some characters so we get a you know a big old bus a couple of vans pull in and this is where the the music comes into play because even before, even before Nick went out, they heard music. Yeah, th that's the whole reason why Nick went out is because yeah. he heard music. And now it was the worry of, okay, was that maybe m his mother trying to signal them right. th that something was wrong? Mm -hmm. Or what was that music? And that's why Nick left the, the, the ballpark uh, to try and find out what was going on. Um, but no, it's it's another crew. And basically what they did... Called now, the Vultures. Yeah, now the whole episode... There were maybe about 10 to 15 walkers roaming in the parking lot of the ballpark. Um, but what this group did is they swarmed in, played music, rode around on a little bike, 
<laughs> and got them put the music uh, while they were distracting the walkers they pulled out um uh like a, a rider rental truck yeah and it had a ramp on it and basically they led the walkers up into the truck then they walk out of the truck um, and spray paint 12 on a flag outside of the truck meaning 12, 12. so we get confirmation that they what they do is they round up walkers in certain areas so in that area that had uh with in the first episode 51 there were 51 walkers in that kind of trailer park area where morgan was in not sure in that exact trailer or within the other trailers and then where the tankers were where they found naomi 457 <laughs> now when i mentioned before where naomi went on top of the building and she fell into that hole there were a set of speakers right by that hole yep. so that's how those walkers got into there and they you know locked them in but yeah 457 that's a lot yeah. in that area so when this when the vultures show up uh militia and madison and really the the ballpark community we don't really have a name for that community yet but anyway yeah. madison's community immediately arm themselves they empty out the armory and they're ready um they madison decides to confront the individual which i forgot his name do you know his mel. name mel mel um and, and mel describes the crew basically saying look um we're, we we don't want to kill we're not going to kill you all we have to do is bide time sit back watch what's interesting about this is mel says your crops have weevils and weevils are a bitch to get rid of they do and they're um, like we know that you have 47 people in there you have a lot of you have so many guns he, he names the equipment yeah. that they have yeah. and more importantly he names nick he says tell nick that weevils are a bitch to get rid of yeah. um so how is mel who's never met madison getting this information charlie charlie that little girl who was always asking questions who's always i mean we didn't see her ask a ton of questions she was asking questions to nick about the crops but um but then it was like well how did she get this information to him you know now there was a scene where she was sitting right by a walkie-talkie, but we assume that she was listening to hear if Madison and them were reporting back if they found her family. Yeah. But they were already out of the zone to it's, where they can communicate. It's really a mood point. Yeah, we, we don't know how she communicated, but apparently she is part of the vultures. They picked her up a while back, and they said that uh, Mel is like, she's really good at finding the good stuff. And man, did she find something good here. Now... What's interesting about their name is that that's what he says is we don't take we just sit and wait we we'll, we only take after people die yeah. which is kind of like a vulture you know but but in a way he was actually really pleasant he was uh, because and it didn't seem like a big crew either i yeah. thought madison just killed them all right there because he tells madison on a couple of occasions that they have tried their hardest to actually help people people don't um, listen but That's... people don't listen yeah. just like the people at the oil tanker place that we mentioned yeah because madison assumed um that they blew that up because of those flags because he mentioned those flags yep. and he was like no we just told them that when you make a community around those tankers when you don't secure some type of some valve some valve like boom and that's exactly what happens like people don't listen yeah now the reason that we're here is i want you to listen so it, in a way it's a threat it's not but they have camped kind of they're camping empty threat yeah they're camping outside the stadium they got lawn chairs he's got a cooler of beer and he's like we're just going to wait until he does give her a condition goes. like give us all of your stuff right now all right so he actually gave her a condition mm -hmm. uh give us your stuff now and you and can leave and live uh, okay yeah yeah that's bad yeah that's a, that's an open-ended threat or we'll wait till you're dead and then we'll take yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i mean i mean honestly guys i i am very excited um about the vultures they're very intriguing I'm just kind of hoping we're not getting into like a Saviors 2.0 because we're fans of The Walking Dead. We kind of just went through a massive arc on that. I know the I shows yeah. are I know the shows are different, but it's just kind of that feeling, you know yeah. what I mean? But they are very interesting, but their numbers don't seem big that we know of. Their you know? numbers are not big. I don't think they are. And really, they're not a forceful group. No, like they're no. not using they, he didn't use any force at all, and they just rolled up and, and just sat there. They're technically like real vultures. They usually come and sit and they wait. That's exactly what they did. And they wait until they're dead and then the vultures take. So it's it's, it's a really cool concept. It's a con it's a cool concept. Yeah, I like it. 
Yeah. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but what's interesting is that they don't they don't call themselves the Vultures. Yeah. We learn that term from Luciana from, from Luciana and the yeah. crew a little yeah a little bit later after that. So which we'll get into because yeah. we have a we have a pretty good theory on that. Uh, yeah. But anyway, so uh, Madison of course doesn't take the deal. Uh, furthermore, Madison immediately walks in and and continues to build. Um, they wake up the next morning. Yeah. There's the, the vultures are still there. They're just looking at them, and then all of a sudden, yeah, you hear the hammering. Madison's back to work building again. Yeah. And she's like, "Fine, let them sit out there." Now I should mention that out on the run uh, that they did initially to find Charlie's parents, uh, Nick told Luciana to find her uh, to find Charlie a, a children's book, right. um, and Luciana did. And towards the end, Luciana takes that book and goes out and sets it on. The, the cement, the ground, right below Charlie's camper, and Charlie's looking on that, right. basically saying, "Look, we still care about you, even though you completely screwed us. Screwed us." Yeah. And so then we cut to a black screen that says "Now,", now. and we cut immediately back to when Nick, Luciana, Strand, and Alicia capture Morgan, John, and Althea. So, what's your story? Their story is crazy. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so they're all down there. They're going through their stuff, you know, and they find the 51 flag that they took from the previous outpost. And that's immediately when Luciana's like, you're with them. And Strand's you're like, the vultures. The vultures. Mm -hmm. And they're like, no, that's not us. They're like, that's not our flag. And we'll end, um, uh, you know, they're asking questions like where this came from. And they're like, another outpost. And uh, Alicia's like, well, you're going to take us there and show us. So they gather them all into Althea's truck and they're on their way. Yeah. And that's the episode. Yep. So like I said, 98.9% .9 was all in the stadium. Yeah. Which and was I, cool. And I think it had to be because it had to establish where they're at now um, and how far they've come right. uh, in this gap. So it was a very interesting episode. And, you know, we, we started the episode with them waking out of bed and, and seeing that, they, hey, they have a pretty good life right now and things right. are really great for them right now. What I also picked up on, I'm not sure if you guys picked up on it, is the also kind of the, the lighting and color scheme. So on the before, it was kind of bright. It was yellowish. And then when we get to the now, it's dark. It's gray. It's grimy. It kind of reminds me like something is on fire yeah. around there. So and there's something to that, which we'll yeah. get into the predictions video coming up. Yeah. So all in all, great episode. It's still laying the groundwork to what this season is going to be all about. Um, stay tuned for our predictions video because we have some cool stuff on some yeah. of our theories that we just picked up on tonight actually talking about it. Yeah, we can't <laughs> wait, guys. Let us know what you think of the episode. Give the video a thumbs up. Follow us at Knock Bro Nation. And do not forget to subscribe. That is right. Hit that bell icon so you always be notified. And stay tuned for the next Fear the Walking Dead video coming soon. We're Knock Bro Nation. We're, We're out. out.